We are on the last one for this homework section. This is 2013, number six for calculus AB. Let's do this. So we're given a differential equation. And you're told it contains the point one zero. So key, part A, equation of a tangent line. When you see that, I'm hoping you automatically know the equation of a line is this, and you do that. And you have to have a point it goes through, and they tell you through the point 1, 0. So that is your x1, y1 for my equation. All I have left is a slope, and you should know the slope of the tangent line is the derivative. So we want the derivative at that point of tangency. So we plug that into the function they give us there. So it's going to be e to the 0, 3 times 1 squared, minus 6 times 1, all over nothing. <laughs> so it's 1, 3 minus 6, so that should be negative 3. There's the slope of the tangent line. Man, we are done with the first part of A. That's going to be 0. The slope is negative 3, x minus 1. So y is negative 3, x minus 1. So that is the slope of the tangent line. Let's continue reading the question. Use the tangent line to approximate f at 1.2. So we will say f at 1. Point, whoa. is approximately equal to. So here's what's going on. I'm going to draw a picture. I don't know what this function looks like. I'm just going to make something up. I just made that up because I'm crazy like that. So I'm going to put some numbers in here. Let's say this is 1. I'm going to draw a line tangent at that point, and that's what we just did let's do green so at this point here we want a tangent line that looks pretty good move that whoa i'm gonna move that line okay pretty close so 1.2 i'm just gonna make up say this is 1.2 there we want to know the value of that dot there, but we're going to use the dot on the green line. So how do you find the value of this dot on the green line? Well, you plug in 1.2 into the equation of the green line. That's what we're going to do. Done. That's your answer. Don't simplify that. Please do not simplify that. I don't want you making a mistake. That answer was fine. We're done. Part A is done. I'm hoping this problem goes quickly. We want a particular solution. <clears throat> Excuse me. A solution to the differential equation. You have to understand that. They did not tell you to use separation of variables. That's what's going to end up happening. But a solution, here's what a solution is. A solution, you find a value of y. When you find your value of y, you plug it in for that y. You plug it in for that y. When you plug that y in that you found, it makes this equation true. So basically, it's asking, what is y? They want you to solve for y. In summary, that's what it's really asking for. So we have dy dx. So how do you solve for y normally? You would integrate both sides. Here is the problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Y is a function. X is your variable. Normally, when we integrate, we only have variables. And it's easy to integrate that. But we have an actual function in our integral that's no bueno, so we cannot integrate both sides. Whenever your function appears in your equation, you cannot simply integrate that.
that's how you recognize it's going to be separation of variables. So you need to rewrite this. So divide both sides by e to the y. If I divide both sides e to the y, I'm going to get e to the y there. The e to the y on the right is going to cancel. So I'm going to be left with this. Then if I multiply both sides by that dx, the dx will appear with the x's. So you separate your variables, everything with a y on the left, everything with x on the right. That's the first step. You usually get a point for that. Then I integrate both sides. Now, let me rewrite this. This is where people make little mistakes. It's going to cost points. But the left side, it is not ln of e to the y. In order to get that, you would have to do u sub, make u e to the y, du would be e to the y dy. You don't have that here, so that is not going to work. So that's no bueno. Here's what you got to do. You need to move e to the y to the top, and you get that. The right side is pretty easy. I'll just finish this up. This is going to be x cubed minus... 3x squared plus c. Double check that by taking the derivative of this, and you should get that. And I think we're good. On the left side, though, we need to do a trick. I know the integral of e to the y is just e to the y, but it's not e to the y. It's actually minus y. I need to do a u sub where u is minus y. The derivative of u will be minus 1 dy. And so here's a question. Do I have a minus 1 dy here? I don't, but I can put a negative 1 here and here. And I didn't change it because negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, so it's the same. So then this will become e to the u because that's u. The blue circle here is just du. Well, the integral e to the u clearly is just e to the u. So I'm almost done. I have to solve. Whoopsie. I need to solve for y because that's the original. So I need to replace u. This u has to get replaced with the original y, so it's going to be e to the minus y, and we get this. Now, the c here, that's a problem. We need to find the value of c. But the good news is, they told us it goes through 1, 0. So I'm going to plug that into my equation, and I'm going to get y, excuse me, that's not right, e to the minus 0 equals... 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared plus c. 1 equals 1 minus 3 plus c. And I get c equals 3. Is that right? I don't think that's right because <laughs> the answer is different. Um, let me see. I think I have an error somewhere. If someone can see my error... That would be muy bueno. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I see it. Ah, see it. See. You see? This guy. Where'd he go? He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. So before I do all of that stuff, I just did wow that have been bad i need to multiply both sides by negative one to get rid of that because eventually i want to solve for y so that negative there is just a pain in the buttocks okay this is much better Let's plug in 1, 0 into this equation. We're going to get e. This is side work, by the way. e to the minus 0. 
1 cubed negative plus 3 times 1 squared minus c. 1 equals negative 1 plus 3 minus c. That's going to be 2 minus c. Negative 1. c is going to come out to be 1. Much better. Okay, feel better now. So plug that in to the original equation. Now to solve for y, how do you get rid of e? You have to ln both sides. So we're going to ln both sides. And these nicely cancel. So we get minus y equals ln of this whole blob. And then to get y to be positive, multiply both sides by negative 1. You get negative ln All right, we are done. That is the answer. Now, you should never do this, but if you want to go crazy, you can pee in front of the log. This is crazy. Don't do this. But for those of you who are bored and you want to watch more of me talking, you pee in front of the log. Now, you want to get crazier? Negative 1, you can take the reciprocal. Now, don't do this. This is crazy. This is crazy talk. But you could have an answer like that. But that's crazy. This is the answer everyone should have. This stuff, only crazy, dumb people should put that. All right? That's it. That's the last one for this section. I'll talk to you next time.